Seek knowledge together, mm. together, especially together on the things that concern us. If we are a couple and one of us stops growing, then the relationship becomes automatically unstable. And of course, personal growth yes. is all the areas from spiritual to from mentally spiritual. to physically. Yeah. All those areas need to be, you know, to be checked, growing so yes. that you can keep in check with your partner. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. I hope the first two months of this year has been definitely amazing and we are keeping up to what we decided to do this year. Definitely this is Decoding the Process and I'm your host Martha Mora joined by an amazing guest who's going to introduce himself as we proceed. Karibu sana. Asante sana and thank you first of all for having me. Mm -hmm. My name is Gabriel Mongai, a life coach. Mm -hmm corporate trainer and a public speaker, generally on the area of growth. Wow. Yes. Thank you very much. We are so glad to have you on board and we are expectant to miski a life coach and trainer. Manzilla relationships in Kakua A game. So thank you for coming. Thank and of course, much. thank you for joining us, our viewers. So today we are going to be discussing something that we probably do not really talk about so much. We do not know how much relationships affect our lives. We think there are so many other, you know, conduits of life that probably are part of us and we you know, outrule relationships being one of the major, major things that affect the growth and the, you know, how our lives transcends as we go on and as we pursue our goals. So today what we want to really see, does the relationship or the kind of person we involve, how do you come together to grow and how does it also affect your growth? So as we begin, probably tell us the relationship between relationship and growth. Oh, thank you for that question. I think growth is literally founded on relationships. Mm -hmm. How you relate with people is what finds or what founds your growth as a person. Mm -hmm. Because as human beings, we are social beings. Mm -hmm. For us to build up, we have to build on people. And that's where relationship comes. But as we go into relationship, the person who affects you mostly in growth is your spouse. Mm -hmm. So we can start with romantic relationship mm -hmm. because they form the foundation of personal growth and also a couple's growth. Yeah, so to maybe set a foundation on which we can have this conversation, mm -hmm. there are two types of growth. There is the personal growth whereby you can outgrow your partner. You see, when you're together, you're a team. Mm -hmm. But it's possible that you find yourself outgrowing your partner. And then there is the growth of the couple. Mm -hmm. Both of you, are you able to grow after now coming together? So I think that would be the basis on what we are going to discuss about today. Oh. Yes. So basically there is the individual growth yes. where I focus on my personal growth. Yes. And um, it um, outrightly gets to um, connect to the growth of the relationship. Of, of the couple, so yes. does it mean that there is something we have to be working on, you know, as a couple to grow together or do I grow individually and we end up growing together in the end? Well, I'll say that a relationship is like a bicycle. Mm -hmm. It's only stable when you are in motion. So if we are a couple and one of us stops growing, then the relationship becomes automatically unstable but you see for us to grow together you have to play your part and i have to play my part so we have both to work towards growth mm -hmm. the danger comes in when one person decides not to grow or one person grows faster than the other person mm -hmm. so maybe i can start by discussing how this comes about for example we are a couple i am employed and you are not so the kind of challenges I meet at work, the kind of challenges I meet in my conversations are helping me grow. But you see, if you are at home, you're not meeting the same kind of challenges. Mm -hmm. So when we sit down and have a conversation, mm -hmm. you realize that my conversation is up here mm -hmm. and yours is down here. So I'm growing. Mm -hmm. Also, I could be in a place where I, ha I find mentorship mm -hmm. and you don't. Or maybe I've traveled and I get new experiences mm -hmm. and you don't. 
So eventually, I'm outgrowing you as my partner. Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. I'm outgrowing you as my partner. So this is the basis of how we can outgrow each other. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe just to mention, what are the signs mm -hmm. that you have outgrown your partner or your partner has outgrown you? The first and the most common sign is the conversations become boring. Mm -hmm. You you look at your partner and they, they are just boring. Mm -hmm. They are no longer as exciting as they used to. That's mm -hmm. the first sign that this one of you has outgrown the other one. Mm -hmm. Then you can also find yourself that you don't have much to talk about. Because one is living up here and the other one down here. There, there lacks a commonality mm -hmm. of ideas. So there's very little you guys can talk about. Mm -hmm. The other sign you would find is that one diminishes the opinions and the comments of the other person. For example, if you tell, tell me to let us go out, considering that we are a couple, I tell you now, I'm not interested in going out. I'm more concerned in staying at home and taking care of kids. So there's a difference in how your opinion is taken by me. Your opinion doesn't look as important as it is, mm -hmm. or my opinion does not look as important as it should be, or mm -hmm. as I expect it should be to you. Mm -hmm. So, so and how, for instance, mm -hmm. um, would you apply that, especially to young people who are dating still? Mm -hmm. Now, um, probably you don't have a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of those other signs? Because you know, some of those you've mentioned probably m might, um, um, appear so much to people who spend a lot of time, but be already living together or yeah, something yeah. like that. Yes. So for these, for the young people, what I'd say is like, there lacks an interest of doing things together. Mm -hmm. For example, we previously used to club together, maybe visit places together. We used maybe to have dinner together. And then you, you notice that all of a sudden, there's a loss of interest. Mm -hmm. This person is, is, has nothing against you, literally, but they are really not interested to keep up with the things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. They are operating at either a higher level mm -hmm. or at a lower level. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the ingredient is just to keep growing. Because yeah, I feel you, like you, you, you can to. also be working, both of you, yes. but if you're not go growing personally, definitely you will have a gap. Yes. Because sometimes work, work can actually you know, deviate your life from really the real personal growth you need to have. Yes. So as long as you keep on adding value to yourself, through even if you're at home, there's so many uh, uh, you know, ar arenas of really getting knowledge and learning and growing mm -hmm. and still maintaining the, the fact that you're as sharp as you can be and as updated to, you know, of course, have a, a, a good level of conversation with, you, with your partner. So, sure. wow, that's amazing. I mean, um, it's, it's something good to really note because people don't know that relationships are not all about love. It's, yes. it's really about serving a common goal both of you have. Both of you, yes. When you are growing in that, then definitely you have something to do together. And in the end, we spend more time together. Yes. So it will never be all about cuddling and holding hands. The whole time. <laughs> Actually, that is the that. most small part of the relationship. Yes. The, yes. It's, it's very small. Intimacy goes beyond, beyond cuddling. Yeah beyond the bed yes the intimacy goes into the brain yes. in your intellectuality mm -hmm. and more yeah, yeah. and there, there, there's a catch that I, I just like to mention mm -hmm. that you can grow and be sharp for example you are in finances you can grow very well in finances mm -hmm. and say maybe I'm in law so I can also grow very much in law maybe low low career but that is that is not growth for us mm -hmm. to for for the both of us yes. Growth for both of us is having, say, similar kinds of experiences mm -hmm. or similar kinds of thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's oh, not right. generally growing in terms of career. It's growing in the things that bring you yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is the kind of growth we are talking about. Okay, all right. And Wow, that's um, and of course, if people will really understand that um, the first level of connection is usually emotional, but the next level is usually intellectual intellectual so if yes. you can't grow definitely you become you wonder why relationships go to a flat level it's because they can't connect intellectually yeah and yeah. when you get there it's also one of the biggest things that cause divorce mm. because now once you are already disconnected yeah. every other thing doesn't work yeah, yeah. and the basis of the connection mm. is how well you're growing as mm. a couple yeah. yeah so young guys of course 
be prepared because these things are ahead of you as you're dating right now are you really growing are you prepared to do you have a plan of growth even as you get and as you envision to the marriage next phase. to the next level wow so what are some of these areas of growth that you would um, advise people to focus on well generally i believe there are five mm -hmm. this list is not exhaustive but the ones that cut across really there are just five main areas of growth mm -hmm. so maybe we can start with the first one purpose mm -hmm. You see, if there is one area that most couples collide mm -hmm. is on purpose. Because I may, we may be a couple mm -hmm. and I have already found my purpose earlier on before we met or as we were meeting. And then all of a sudden, as we go on with the relationship, yeah. you discover your purpose. And now the two start conflicting. Maybe your purpose is directly opposite of mine. Mm -hmm. So when you give me the news, I was hoping that you'd support me on my purpose and now you seem to be facing the other direction. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the places where most people now, where most relationships are lost. Mm -hmm. If we can't find a common ground in the area of purpose, I guarantee you the relationship is in ICU. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the first conversation about purpose comes up, mm -hmm and we are not both grown to a level of accommodating each other, mm. then we are done. Mm. Both of us will either be unable to reach their purpose or one of us will have to sacrifice mm. for the purpose of the other one. Yeah. yeah. Or we will both have to just forego it mm. or, and live an average life. So mm. this is one of the biggest areas that mm growth is really going to affect you so in short you know because these things happen you know when you grow and actually looking at how purpose is sometimes your your curve really changes you begin getting to know your, you never yes. know yourself fully when you're young yes so um i'd say the basic thing as you said we're able to grow together together support each and that's the you know common ground yes we might not be serving in the same Area, area yeah. exactly in the same actually we can't even if i'm i'm in the same area as you we serve differently we are totally different actually so we, we should. need to just support each other actually i am of the opinion that if at all you are you're meant to be together and you are you are wise enough mm -hmm. you can serve your purpose along one line mm -hmm. not necessarily in the same thing mm -hmm. but along one line mm -hmm. of things right. yes wow so what are some of the other areas so the other area I talk about is economics mm -hmm. because money and uh, we say there's no romance without finance. So economics is another great aspect of growth. Mm -hmm. For example, if, you'd ha if you're a careful observer of life, there are people whose financial growth stops once they get in a relationship with the other person. Mm -hmm. And there are also other people whose their financial growth skews upwards yeah. immediately after meeting their partner. Yeah. How does this happen? It's because of the growth level mm -hmm. of the partner and the perspective and the basic belief the two have about economics. Mm -hmm. Just as we have finan uh, uh, love languages, we also have financial languages. Mm -hmm. For example, if we have a million bob here, I'm probably going to think something different with what you're thinking. If maybe I think of purchasing a property, you might be thinking of opening a business. Mm -hmm. That's a deviation mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. And if we are not in the same place mm -hmm. mentally, mm -hmm. we will always be colliding mm -hmm. in the area of finances. And once we start colliding, mm -hmm. for example, you are a person who wants to invest mm -hmm. and I'm a person who wants to spend. How will we ever grow? Every time we want to maybe invest, I'm holding you back because I want us to take a trip to Dubai. Every time you want to maybe save, I'm telling you we can save the other month. Mm -hmm. Let us first of all deal with this amount that we have. Mm -hmm. And then you realize fast forward 10 years, mm -hmm. we have not done anything yeah. individually and also as a, as a team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So economic growth, we have to be together as we grow economically, mm -hmm. we have to improve our understanding mm -hmm. so we can be operating from the same page mm -hmm. economic-wise. Mm -hmm. Or whatever you believe is to you meaning of money, and whatever I believe it is, mm -hmm. we can come to some common things. Yes. 
because it's not always that we are going to believe the same mm -hmm. thing but we can at least find a common ground yeah. where we can both base our growth mm -hmm. all right so i believe um what you're trying to communicate is the value system surrounding how I view money, money. and economics. Yes. Because the values here are saving, you know, being not being a spendthrift, knowing the levels of investment and everything. Yes. So if the value systems are alike, then we definitely can partner and grow together economically. Because sometimes, like you're saying, I might be wanting a business and I might be wanting a, a property. Yes. But you see, we're still in the same value system. We're looking at how to spend the money well. We only need to come to an agreement. We an might agreement. never think alike. Yes. But the value system surrounding the economic growth mm. should definitely align the yes. both of you. Yes. Wow. So and if they amazing. don't align, mm -hmm. then we are stuck. Definitely. Yes. And you can't do anything. You can't do you can't anything. Do anything. Yeah. So wow, that's amazing. Mm. And um, um, I'm really learning a lot personally and I believe you as a viewer are really getting so much from this because we want you to grow when you get into a relationship not that when you get into that relationship the next thing we know this guy has or this lady is definitely you know going down and down and down because of the relationship they got in otherwise let's take a short break and we'll come back for more lessons that are run are in life, mm -hmm. they tend to stick a lifetime. Mm -hmm. If we cultivate these positive money habits, mm -hmm. if we start it early mm -hmm. from that child, mm -hmm. you are sure mm -hmm. by the time they are where I am, mm -hmm. in a place of decision making, mm -hmm. I'll be a more informed person. Welcome back. And we are definitely discussing relationships and growth. If you're not in one, consider those things we are mentioning and yet to mention. And if you are in one, kindly look into that relationship. So we were just discussing a few areas of growth that we need to look at even as we are in that relationship. Mm -hmm. We can now proceed. Yes, okay. We can talk about the third one. Okay. Mm -hmm. For a recap, we have talked about growth and uh, purpose. Mm -hmm. I've also talked about growth and economics. Mm. So now we can talk about growth and personal development. Mm. Personal development is anything you're doing personally to improve yourself mm. generally. So it could be your health, it could be your faith, it could be your intellectuality, your character, anything that you're trying to do. So if there is a difference in how you view personal growth. For example, there's one person I was talking about and it was a lady mm. and she wanted to get fit. She wanted to lose some weight. She was about 100 kg and she wanted to come to 70. But when she shared with her husband, the husband asked her, what are you losing weight to look like? Who are you trying to imitate? And you can see the difference in the thoughts. Mm about personal development. One is completely not interested about personal development, while the other one is conscious about personal development. But personal development is actually what determines the direction of your relationship. Mm -hmm. A good example, if you're not a good leader, say for example for a man, you're probably going to have a lot of challenge yeah. in driving the relationship. So if you want to become a good leader and you're trying to maybe to take a course, then your wife or your spouse asks you, who are you trying to lead here? Then it, it becomes a pause mm. for you guys as a team and also for you personally. Even if you wanted to grow for the advantage of the other person, then it reaches a point that you guys are now stuck. And without necessarily personal growth, you actually live in your past. Mm. Because as you proceed with growth, even as spouses, as you go forward, maybe to try out a marriage or in a marriage as now you get children, you have to constantly keep on, keep on growing. Yeah. There's a very good example when a, a lady gets a child. When she's pregnant, she starts growing personally, developing in terms of skills of handling a child, handling pressure, patience. Now, if the man is not conscious of the growth that the lady is undergoing, the man is going to be left so far off. And the lady converts from a girl into a man. Mm. But what has the man become? 
-hmm. and then you're stuck somewhere mm -hmm. in between. When you start speaking or talk, talk, talking to each other, you find out that the lady is far beyond where the man is. And these are some of the important things that you really have to put in place. Mm -hmm. as, as a couple, mm -hmm. you have to constantly check yourself mm -hmm. to grow yourself personally yes. because it determines your contribution. Mm -hmm in the relationship and of course personal growth yes. is all the areas from spiritual to from mentally spiritual. to physically yeah. all those areas need to be you know to be checked growing so yes. that you can keep in check with your partner yeah yeah, yeah. wow so yeah. that is a one big aspect that mm -hmm. you have to, to check mm -hmm. the other aspect we'd like to talk about is social social growth mm -hmm. how are you growing socially this includes friends mm -hmm. The society as, as a whole, maybe you can also talk about the religious places and the religious activities. What are your contribution in the society? Mm -hmm. If you don't grow, for example, we take a guy who is not growing mm -hmm. and a lady. These are, this is a couple, yeah? mm -hmm. and a lady who is growing. Soon enough, the lady is no longer interested in going to the club like they used to. She wants to stay at home. She wants to save now. She wants to invest. Mm -hmm. But the boyfriend or the spouse he still wants to go to the club, mm -hmm. still wants to go and pick a sherehe the whole time. You understand? Mm -hmm. This brings a difference. Now the lady will have to be stuck because the partner she has, socially, she's, he's not growing. Mm -hmm. He's not growing. They're operating at two complete different levels. Mm -hmm. You also find out that it comes a time when you no longer appreciate the friendships that you had. But your partner reveres those friendships. Mm. And you see you are in the same house. So I'll keep going to my old friends, which now hurts you mm. as my spouse, and I'll keep telling you about my friends. That is like I am living in the past, but you are living into the future. Mm. And in that place, we are not able to grow socially. We are stuck in a certain place. The responsibilities we should be taking socially among friends, among the society, are stuck because we cannot move in the same level mm -hmm. as a couple. Mm -hmm. So this is also an area that you really need to check. Yeah, really and I feel like, especially for young guys, definitely the moment you're planning to go to the next level, you have to start changing your friendships. Yeah. Not really eliminating them, them. but focusing on other friendships on the that, next level that, that prepare you to get there because yes. if you're really stuck this on this other side by the time you're getting now to settling down with your partner definitely it will be so hard for you to really see how the new season is and adjust to it while yes. you're still connected to the people who are where you are yeah. so it's very important very important wow. and so you find many mm -hmm. people uh, colliding because uh, maybe the lady could ask the guy what is wrong with these friends mm -hmm. We have had them all along. What is wrong with them now? And really, there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. It's just that you have grown. They're in different levels. Dif They're different yeah. priorities. So priorities definitely. have changed. Mm. And maybe even the inputs now they have, mm -hmm. you are a little way beyond. Yes. So you need yeah. new inputs now. Mm -hmm. So that causes a lot of hitch in right. the relationship. Mm. And if you look backwards for the things we are talking about, there are things that really could cause a breakup if you really interrogate them well. Uh -huh. Because they just need to, it, for a relationship, it just needs something to unstabilize it, uh -huh. and then every other thing comes on board. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. so okay, it's so things you have to check on. Uh -huh. And the last point maybe we can talk about uh -huh. is your spiritual growth. Uh -huh. The Bible says that if you and your wife are in the disagreement, don't even bring your offering to the altar. And this is how important God looks at a relationship. So if at all you are not in the same place spiritually, you are affecting each other's spiritual nourishment, spiritual capacity, mm -hmm. spiritual connection, it actually stops your spiritual life. Literally, it stops your spiritual life. If you are in a disagreement with your husband, your spouse, or uh, anyone that you're relating with, God refuses your offering. He also refuses your prayers. He rejects it. So it is very important that you are in the same level spiritually, that you make sure that the growth of your partner is not way off 
from where you are. You might not probably be always in the same level, but at least have the same understanding. So that even if they are not to what you're doing, mm -hmm. they have the space and the capacity to understand mm -hmm. what you're doing mm -hmm. spiritually. And because spiritual growth is definitely the foundation of so the much of our relationship. foundation of a relationship. So of course when they are dating, they yes. need to start the culture the of culture. really growing together spiritually. Yes. If it's the word, if it's prayer, prayer, doing it together. You know, you might not have... The reality of the thing is you might not have the same time you do these things, yes. but as long as it's going and you have a common meeting point, then mm -hmm. definitely you'll be growing. You'll be together. You'll be going upward together. Yes. So yeah. all of you meeting at the center of, you know, the, you know where God is. Mm -hmm. When you meet there, you always have the same mindset because um, God speaks to both of you yes. and you can, you know, align everything else in your life. Yeah. Wow. So now you have talked about the areas of growth. Mm -hmm. So now how can people come together and you know, find ways of living together and growing together as we conclude. I think this is a wonderful question mm -hmm. because now there's no point of pointing out the mistake mm. if we can't point out the solution. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things you can do is grow together mentally. Mm -hmm. How do we grow together mentally? We can read the same books mm -hmm. or read together. Okay. Mm. We can attend things like seminars together. We, anywhere we are getting some new input, mm. we can make an effort as a couple to be available together. Mm -hmm. So that I don't have so new and fresh inputs that I'm here and you're here. Yeah. I don't have to be very far. We can both have the same mental exposure on the things that concern us. So whenever we are having a discussion, we are either close to each other or in the same level mentally mm -hmm. because everything starts up here mm. before it's seen down here mm. so if we are very far up mm. here i tell you even our reality is going mm. to be very far. so seek knowledge seek knowledge as much together as you can. Mm. together especially together on the things that concern us mm -hmm. yeah wow uh -huh. the other point i'd like to suggest is get the same kind of exposure mm -hmm. uh you see as we grow and maybe as we get influence, affluence and success, you might find maybe the lady is a businesswoman and she gets the opportunity to travel out. But the gentleman is in corporate. Maybe he works a, a job uh, on a bank or somewhere. So you'll find the lady has a certain level of exposure that is very far from the, from the gentleman. And when he comes back home, he looks at him like he's... He's foolish. He's more foolish now. Yeah. Without noticing, it's just that she has gotten yes. some new exposure yeah. that this fellow hasn't. So you should make an effort as a couple to get the same kinds of exposure mm. together. So you can at least operate in the same level. I don't have to come home and talk about Dubai. Mm. And the farthest you've gone is Dubai. Yeah. yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> Definitely. Travel together. Travel it's important together. because traveling also opens, opens up your mind, your mind. different you know, capacities. Yeah, so, in, wow. a, in a great way. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'd say is to allow unjudgmental conversations. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we are quick to judge what the other person is saying. But sometimes what they'll say is what will open our eyes. So if you can regularly, regularly even set a space for just talking and, and allow someone to talk their heart out mm. it's going to be one of the greatest eye opener mm. on that level of growth yeah okay? mm -hmm. the other point i'll talk about is talk regularly because as time goes you realize that relationship people who are in relationships that go going distant mm. because of jobs responsibilities and you find, yes, you live in the same room, but you live in two different worlds. Mm. You, are, you have a world of your own, and I have a world of my own. Mm. So we need to have regular conversations. Regular conversations will help us understand where our partner is. Mm. For example, if we have a 10 minutes conversation with you, you'll understand maybe where I am business-wise. Mm. You'll understand my stress levels, mm. what I'm thinking about. Because as we speak, what we share is our thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, so have regular conversations. All right. Wow. And the last point, mm -hmm. and that big, I think this is the biggest, mm. is have a common vision. Have, have something that you're doing together every day. Not once a year, mm. <laughs> every, every day. day, every day. 
even if it's a big goal, mm. you have broken it down to weeks and, and days. Mm. Have something that, what have you done, Martha, today concerning our goal? Mm. What have I done concerning our goal? Mm. So that every day we are meeting almost the same kind of challenges. Mm. We are almost pursuing something common. So we'll, have, we'll be on the same page mm. regularly. Even if we have small differences, we'll find ourselves, because of the challenges we have in our vision, mm -hmm. we'll find ourselves discussing mm -hmm. the same challenges. And as we go along in that, the vision will expose our growth and we'll be able to go forward mm -hmm. together. Wow, so have a common vision. I mean, um, everything is worth considering. Yes. And because of time, guys, we'll have to stop right there. Mm -hmm. I believe there's so much we can actually learn from this and of course apply because our lives you know are still going on and we need to keep learning and growing as we have said as well as analyzing and you know removing what is not supposed to be there and adding what needs to be there so for me i just want to conclude by saying this your shape or sharpness i mean your shape or your six pack might attract that person but your sharpness is what will keep that person so keep growing and keep knowing the realities of what is ahead of you so that you can prepare for the future that you await. Thank you very much for joining us today and of course for keeping it Wema TV every Tuesday at 9.45 p.m. Thank you once again and have a blessed evening and a good, good month. Thank you. <music>